I am here in Ethiopia um, looking at our program uh, in partnership with WFP, SNV and PCD. I am here on a monitoring and evaluation visit um, to see Dubai Care's school feeding, wash and dewarming program in Ethiopia. This program is providing homegrown school feeding, which means that we are using locally sourced food and uh, cooking it in the schools. I'm right now in the school feeding area, the dining hall that is actually constructed by the community. Um, it's fantastic to see such, such great community um, participation within this program as well, because since we've put in place the school feeding, they put in place the kitchens and provided a place for the students to, to eat in. Uh, with the help of strong women from the community who are helping us um, prepare the food on a daily basis. Uh, the women have actually sat with them during this trip and spoken to them about their experience and about the work that they're doing. And I am very amazed about the, the contribution that they're putting in this program. These women start their day at 8 a.m. and finish about 5, 6 p.m. and they're preparing food for more than a thousand students per day. I'm surrounded by the kids right now. I can see from their empty plates that they are uh, liking the food very much. We're actually providing five different um, foods every day. So there's a set menu and every day the cooks prepare a different kind of food using firewood uh, that sometimes the, the students get from their homes with the help of the communities and their parents as well. Tell them that I came from Dubai to Ethiopia just to see them here in the school today. Yes. Dubai to Warumoki. Kidney to Moe Kamula, Kapa to Kidna Moe to Warumoto. Okay, so to my everywhere. <laughs> 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 I've also spoken uh, to the school principals and the teachers about how the program has increased enrollment, how it has uh, affected the children uh, positively, and, um, and I've also went around the school campus looking at the kitchen facilities and the dining areas that the uh, school community has put together. The parents, the teachers have actually built this facility that I'm in now. They've built the kitchen, they've built um, and they've uh, maintained the storage where the food is stored uh, for school feeding throughout the year. Uh, I started my trip in Addis Ababa, which is the capital city of Ethiopia. And now I am in a very remote rural area of uh, Konzo. And I can see the huge difference between urban and rural life here. It took me today more than four hours to reach the school that I'm at now and we've been driving for many many hours during the trip um, because these schools are in very remote hard to reach areas and this shows the significance of the program in actually reaching the most children in need. With this program, we are also uh, constructing latrines separate for girls and boys and uh, putting in place hand washing and drinking stations so that the children can wash their hands um, before eating and after using the bathrooms. And uh, we're promoting uh, hand washing with soap. I'm very impressed with the program so far. Um, the kids are re uh, receiving the, the, the amount of food, the right amount of food that they need, um, and they seem to be liking it from the empty plates that, I, that I'm seeing. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.